We've discussed repairs of the rotator cuff tendon and focused primarily on the most common tear, which is the supraspinatus. Another tear of the rotator cuff tendon, which can be quite devastating in terms of the function of the shoulder, is a tear of the front part of the rotator cuff, which is known as the subscapularis. This tendon is typically torn in individuals between the ages of 30 and 50 that have somewhat of a traumatic injury, either with sport or work or an accident, or it can tear uh, later on in life from some of our daily activities when we try to use our arm away from our body. When this tendon tears, it not only causes a problem with being able to raise up our arm, but it also can play a role in terms of the stability of the ball and socket joint. And this can make it so that it's hard to use the arm away from the body. So what we do is we approach this problem arthroscopically, just like we do with all rotator cuff tendons. And we can see the tear of the tendon, and we prepare the bone by scraping the bone, and then we pass very strong sutures through the tendon and sew it back down to the bone. Just like other tendon repairs, it takes about six weeks for the tendon and the bone to grow together. So our post-operative recovery includes the fact that for the first six weeks, we're very conservative with our exercise program, including simple range of motion activities, but no strengthening activities. At six weeks, we begin the strengthening program. This is advanced to more aggressive strengthening by three months. And then sports-specific and work-related strengthening activities can begin around four and a half months with a full recovery expected by six months. The advantages of the arthroscopic technique are that we can see not only the tear of the subscapularis, but the not so uncommon injuries to the labrum that can occur at the time of the surgery, or other problems related to the biceps tendon. And all of this can be addressed at the time of the arthroscopic surgery. We also believe that the arthroscopic surgery helps to minimize the discomfort that patients have after surgery, which reduces the amount of medications that they need to take and makes the recovery a little bit more comfortable and smoother than with the traditional open repair.